Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rosberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertable for here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Aleutian IL-4, also known as the DB-3F in its prototype stage. The IL-4 was a Soviet twin-engine long-range bomber and torpedo bomber, widely used by the Soviet Air Force and Soviet Naval Aviation during World War II. Although the IL-4 was only a medium bomber, it had the range to be used on strategic missions. The use of bombers in this role was not a priority for the VVS, but nevertheless, the IL-4 was used on several long-range bombing raids against Berlin in 1941. Most would be used on much shorter-range missions, often adding another uh, thousand kilograms of bombs under the wings in addition to internal 2,500 kilogram bombs on the inside. So yeah, really uh, cool aircraft. We don't have too many um, actual Soviet-made aircraft. Uh, we did do the A-20, uh, which was a Lend-Lease aircraft that the Soviets used for kind of a similar role. Um, but yeah, the IL-4, definitely an interesting aircraft and, you know, a Soviet-made and operated uh, aircraft, so that's pretty cool. Um, it also did see some service in Finland as well. Um, they were uh, captured, uh, basically IL-4s uh, that they bought from the, from the Germans, so they did have a few, um, but, uh, you know, not as much as obviously as the Soviets. So yeah, really interesting vehicle, and I think it came out really cool, and again, it's gonna make an awesome addition to any of your uh, Eastern Front maps or anything like that. Um, going ahead and uh, Give a quick uh, special links to this uh, video's Patreon supporter, uh, Derek Frost Westbrook. So uh, thank you, big thanks to Derek for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description of all my videos where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel and earn a viewer request of your choosing um, each month that you are a patron. Um, it's really, uh, really, uh, you know, greatly uh, appreciated by me, helps support me and my work that I do on this channel, so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested. Um, anyways, let's go and take a look at the IL-4, see exactly what we're going to be going ahead and getting into for this tutorial and all that fun stuff. So uh, basically starting off with, we have obviously the front here, the glass nose cockpit, pretty standard um, you know, for uh, these uh, bomber type aircraft, so you have your bomber and navigator located up here, or your uh, bombardier. Um, going to continue on, we have the cockpit here, so just a single pilot um, with not a two-pilot um, aircraft. Uh, we got the twin engines obviously here at both sides. Um, the aircraft, as you can obviously tell, has a camouflage panel on it as well. I will be showing that in the tutorial, basically a general idea of how to do it. Um, but yeah, so you do have a camouflage pattern on the aircraft that you can put on. Moving on our, w on our way back, we have the top gunner here, so this pretty standard little gun turret here. And then on the bottom here, we have this kind of um, drop-down gun, uh, which is kind of weird how it's operated. Basically, the guy like kind of like sits here and like you know is able to just shoot down. So it's kind of a weird, um, you know, bottom gunner here. But we do have that located there as well. And then the tail again, nothing too special or anything like that with the tail. Pretty straightforward stuff there. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for the overview for the IL-4. I think it looks really good and definitely is a. Uh, really nice aircraft is going to make an awesome addition to any Easter front maps. Um, anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead again to start, we're going to go ahead and start with our first layer, which is going to be layer 3. Now we're starting with layer 3 because it gives us a good basis to kind of build the, f the next few layers off of. Rather than starting at layer 1 where we're just going to be adding a few little bits and pieces here at the bottom of the aircraft, it's easier to start at this point. Gives us, a, again, as I said, a better basis for the future layers. Um, also, throw this in there if you've never done any of my aircraft tutorials before. The way I like to structure these, these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'm going to be building half the aircraft on camera, and then the other half will be up to you guys to copy in between layers. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and once we do the first few layers, it's going to make a little bit more sense. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. So starting off with, we're going to be going ahead and building our center line here of the aircraft. So we're going to start off by placing down another brick, top slab, followed by a light gray stained glass full block, green terracotta block, light gray stained glass full block, and then we're going to be placing down a long row of green terracotta, which in total is going to be 16 blocks long. So again, 16 green terracotta blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass block, two green terracotta blocks, two dark oak with top slabs, and a dark oak with uh, trapdoor. We're going to go and then skip a space, place down a block of coal, 
on both sides of this block of coal, we're going to be placing down a stone button. And we also want to go ahead and place down a item frame on both sides. And in the item frame itself, we're going to be going to placing down a green pane like that for the back wheel. And then uh, we also want to place down a lever coming off the block of coal facing toward the front there. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides now. We're going to go ahead and go back up to the front. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane to the side here, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair back, and then a dark oak wood upside down corner stair. From that, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, green terracotta blocks back, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair, dark oak wood slab, and then we're going to place down a additional dark oak wood upside down stair and dark oak wood top slab. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair that's going to be coming off the side here of this fifth green terracotta block back. So we have one, two, three, four. And our fifth one back, dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight green terracotta blocks back, followed by a dark oak wood stair, and then a, a zombie head here to the side, like so. Again, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair coming off the side here, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six green terracotta blocks back, a dark oak wood stair, and then a zombie head there coming off the side of that block. So just like this so far. Again, going out to the side here, we're going to be going in and placing down another dark oak wood upside down corner stair coming off this uh, stair like that. And also uh, on this third green terracotta block here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, button there on the side. So it's going for that button on. Uh, but anyways, from this point here, we're going to take a green terracotta. We're going to go, and go back one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks uh, back. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going, yeah, no, actually six blocks. I'm right. And then a dark liquid slab like that on the end. Again, going up to the front here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block coming off the side of this stair, followed by a black concrete block going forward. We're going to go, and go back from the green concrete here a total of one two three four and five uh dark oak or green terracotta blocks back followed by a dark oak wood stair like that again going up to the front here uh we're going to go off of this uh this block of uh concrete we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door like so and close it so it's like this and then on the back of this trap door and also this uh black concrete block we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs like that um there's not slabs but uh trap doors on the side there our next row over we're going to place down a near black concrete block over followed by one two three four five and six green terracotta blocks back a dark oak wood slab on the end there then we then want to go ahead and go to the front we're going to grab ourselves some red concrete some wither skeleton skulls and a brick wall uh, we're going to place down a row of one and two red concrete blocks going forward, a brick wall, and then a wither skeleton skull there for the tip there for the engines. Again, going ahead and moving out to the sides, we're going to go off this black concrete block with another black concrete block like this. Dark oak trap door to the side here, and a dark oak trap door coming forward from that. And also on the inside here, a dark oak trap door like so. With that finished, we're going to take our green terracotta we're gonna go back one two three four five and six followed by a dark liquid slab like that and so far we should have something that looks like this so far on the uh, right side here of the aircraft so far yeah, if you need to take a moment to make sure everything's good to go but this is what we should have so far anyways from this point uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to this green terracotta block we're gonna place down one and two dark liquid top slabs back so one two and then we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go back one, two, three, um, green terracotta blocks back, and then one and two, dark oak with top slabs. After that, uh, we're going to go to this dark oak with top slab here, place down one, come out to the side, and then one, two, three, four, and five, dark oak with top slabs back. Go into our next row, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door, come off the side here, followed by one, two, three, four, and five, dark oak with top slabs back. Again, going out to the side here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a another dark oak wood trap door here in the front. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, and four dark oak wood top slabs back. Our next row, we're going to place down a row of one and two dark oak wood trap doors, and then one and two dark oak wood top slabs, and then a dark oak wood trap door there on the end. 
Then uh, for our next row, we're gonna place down a row of four here. So we're gonna go to the side and we're gonna place down one, two, three, and four. And then lastly, we wanna go ahead and go to the middle two blocks and we're gonna place it down two block or two trapdoors coming off the middle two trapdoors, like so. And basically looking at it from above, we should have something that looks like this here for uh, the basis, uh, layer three. Uh, obviously, we went ahead and built the right side here. You're going to take the same thing we did over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side. And you will have basically the aircraft from up above. And it should look something just like this when it's all complete. Anyways, that right there is going to finish layer number three. With that, we can go and move into our next layer, layer so one and two. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our next layers. We have layers one and two. This right here is going to basically cover building everything that's from layer three and below for the aircraft. So we'll have the whole bottom here complete after this layer. Anyways, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of this green terracotta block up here in the nose. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on the bottom of it, followed by an iron trapdoor coming off this glass block right here. We then want to take our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to be placing down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen dark oak wood slabs back. I'm gonna go and double check my count here. And we have fifteen dark oak wood slabs go or dark oak wood top slabs going across the bottom here. Once that's done on the end here, we're gonna be going ahead and placing down a dark oak wood fence gate. We then want to go ahead and go down from the fence gate and go and going forward we're gonna place down a iron uh trap door like this and then on top of the iron trap door we're gonna place down an anvil. Come off the anvil, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab and then a end rod like that to make this machine gun here on the bottom. And then for the sides here, coming off the anvil, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block. Light gray stained glass pane here to both sides. Also, make sure this fence gate is opened up toward the anvil. And then on the bottom of the glass panes and glass block, we're going to be placing down a row of dark oak with trap doors. So, just like this, hopefully across the bottom here. If I can actually place it, there we go. And you'll have this here for the back. Once that's done, going ahead and moving up to the front. Over here on the right side, in the right side only, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, dark oak wood trapdoors back like that. Now, it is different over here on the left side. We want to go ahead and go down from this dark oak wood stair with an end rod and then a dark oak wood. Uh, trap door uh, come off the bottom of the end rod. So it should look something like that. And then uh, we want to go and go back from this and we're going to go get down from the second green terracotta block. We're going to place it on a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a dark oak wood sign on the side of the wall, some head going forward, dark oak wood slab back, and a dark oak wood trap door on the bottom of that mossy cobblestone wall. And this is on the left side of the aircraft and left side only. From this point, we're going to go and then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, dark oak wood trapdoors back and I'm gonna go ahead and just get a double count here and yep 10 uh, dark oak wood trapdoors back once that's done going ahead and moving out to the wings and this is gonna be the same here on both sides again this addition here is only on the left side and the should look like this on your two sides here anyways uh, once that's done we're going to go to this uh, dark oak wood trapdoor here uh, so basically this second green terracotta block back we're gonna place down one two three and four dark oak wood trapdoors back and then going out to the side here again we're going to place down one two and three like that so it should look something like this on the base here for the aircraft um, after that's all finished we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green terracotta dark oak wood slabs uh, black concrete and all that fun stuff as we're going to be going ahead and building the bottom here of the engines so for the bottom of the engines we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this trapdoor right here we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair we want to go ahead and go back a total of four stairs. So we have one, two, three, and four. After that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab and then a dark oak wood trap door like so. And then on the inside here, uh, we're going to place down a black concrete block that drops down like this, followed by a dark oak wood trap door. And then coming off the dark oak wood trap door going forward, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. We then want to place down a second dark oak wood trap door back, followed by a green terracotta block in the space right here. And then going back from this, we're going to place down a second green terracotta block like that up there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our nether brick. And to make the wheels here, will be the landing gear. We're going to place down two nether brick stairs back to back to each other, just like that for the top there. After that's finished, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off the stair. And then over here to the side, uh, we're going to place down 
a row of four of dark oak wood up downstairs. So it's like we down the air side here, a dark oak wood slab and a dark oak wood trap door. And you're going to take this design over here on the right side of the engine and bring it over here to the left side and you'll have both your engines complete and the bottom of the fuselage of the aircraft complete. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up layers uh, one and two. With that, let's move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer four. I thought I should mention real quick that uh, when it comes to the camouflage, we're going to be going ahead and doing that, the, doing that at the end. So if you're wondering why I'm just blowing it solid green all the way across right now, that is the reason why we will be adding the camouflage at the end. I feel it's easier to put the camouflage on at the end when we have the build complete rather than while we're trying to build it. Um, so anyways, again, we're just using the solid green color for right now. Um, anyways, to go ahead and get started with layer 4 here, we're going to start off by placing down an anvil on top of this narrow brick top slab. Coming off the anvil, we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab and then a end rod coming off of it like so. On, or basically going back from the anvil, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, like gray stained glass blocks. Followed by a long row of green terracotta that's going to be going back a total of 21 blocks and should end on top of this uh, lever right here. And then uh, we just want to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair back from it and a dark oak wood top slab. After that's finished, going ahead and going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a mossy cobble stone wall to the side of this block right here, followed by a light gray stained glass block back, and then one, two, and three dark oak wood stairs back. From this point, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen green terracotta blocks back, two red concrete blocks, another two green terracotta blocks, and then we want to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair and a dark oak wood upside down corner stair like so for the back here. After that's finished, we also want to go ahead and go to this green terracotta block here and we're going to place down a dark oak wood button that comes off the side of that block. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention to the wings. We're going to start off by placing down a green carpet here, followed by a dark oak wood uh, slab, a dark oak wood stair, and then coming off the stair, we're going to go back one and two stairs, so you have a corner stair, two stairs, and then a dark oak wood slab daylight detector and a dark oak wood trap door. After that, go next to this carpet. We're going to place down an air green carpet like this to the side. One, two, three. Dark oak wood slabs back. A daylight detector and a dark oak wood trap door like that. Again, going to the side here, we're going to place down another green carpet. Fall by one, two, three. Or sorry, two dark oak wood slabs, a daylight detector, and then one and two dark oak wood trap doors. Uh, again, going ahead and going to the front here, we're going to go to the engine, we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, and four dark oak wood stairs. After that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, a another daylight detector, and then a dark oak wood trap door, and make sure it's closed. Going up to the front here, coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down a green ter or a dark oak wood um, trap door, followed by a black concrete block, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks, a dark oak wood stair, and a dark oak wood slab back, like that. Uh, once that's done, again, going to the side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair here, follow the one, two, three dark oak wood stairs back, and then we want to place down a dark oak wood slab, daylight detector, and a dark oak wood trap door here. And again, make sure it's closed. Uh, for our next row out to the side here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a green carpet on top of this slab right here, followed by one, two uh, dark oak wood slabs back, and a daylight detector. We then want to place down a row of one and two dark oak wood trap doors, and a green carpet like that on the end. Uh, again, going up to the front here, we're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs back. We're going to go and then place down a daylight detector, followed by a dark oak wood slab, or dark oak trap door, and then a green carpet. And again, for our next row out to the side here, uh, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab. This time, however, we're gonna have a dark oak wood stair facing this direction, so like this, followed by another slab, and then one and two daylight detectors back, and then a green carpet like that on the end there. After that, uh, up here in the front, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair, a green terracotta block, block back from it, Followed by a second block back, or sorry, it's actually going to be a dark oak wood stair. And then from the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, and then a daylight detector, like so. Uh, once that's done, our next row here out to the side, we're going to place down our dark oak wood stair, a green terracotta block, 
followed by a second green terracotta block back, a dark oak wood corner stair. So we're going to place down a stair like this, and then a another daylight detector here on the end. With uh, that out of the way, again going to the front, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, like so. Followed by one and two, green terracotta blocks back, and then a dark oak wood stair come off this one and turn that into a corner stair. And then in that space right there, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh, dark oak or a spruce wood slab like that on the side there. I right, guess so at this point, we're going to go and place down another dark oak wood stair up here in the front, followed by one and two, green terracotta block back, dark oak wood stair, and a spruce wood slab. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab here in the front, followed by one and two, green terracotta blocks back, dark oak wood stair, and a spruce wood slab like that. After that's done, we're going to place down another dark oak wood top slab up in the front here, followed by one and two, top slabs back, and then a spruce wood top slab like that. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one and two dark oak wood top slabs, spruce wood top slab, again, same row, two dark oak wood top slabs, spruce wood top slab, then a row of three of dark oak wood trap doors, and then one dark oak wood trap door come off the center one. And once you have that done, that is going to wrap up here what we have for layer four. Take what we did over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and looking at it from above, you should have something that looks just like that. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have for layer four. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer... <coughs> oh. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the top of this anvil, we're going to place down another brick slab, followed by one, two, three, four, and five, like gray stained glass blocks. From this, we're going to go and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of 12 green terracotta blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, green terracotta blocks back, and then a dark oak wood stair here on the end. After that's done, going ahead and going back up to the front here, we're going to place down one and two light gray stained glass panes to the side here, one and two dark oak wood stairs back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, green terracotta blocks back, dark oak wood top slab, green terracotta block, and then one and two red concrete blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks back, and a dark oak wood stair, and dark oak wood corner stair, and then just a spruce wood slab here on the ends. When we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and go up to the front here on this green terracotta block here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button on the side there, so continuing this kind of row here going up. And then um, when we get to the back here, we're going to go ahead and start working on our horizontal stabilizer. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and go to our third green terracotta block from the rear here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, followed by one, two, three dark oak wood slabs back from it, and then two spruce wood slabs. From this, we're going to go ahead and go out, one, two, three, and four dark oak wood slabs again, and then one and two spruce wood slabs. We then want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs, and then one and two spruce wood slabs. From this point here, we're going to place down one, two, three dark oak wood slabs, and then a spruce wood slab. And then we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs, a spruce wood slab, and then again out to the side here, one and two dark oak wood slabs, and a spruce wood slab. Then the very end here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab like this, and then we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some zombie heads, and we're placing down zombie heads underneath these sections. So we're going to go ahead and just take some place sort of blocks and place them down kind of below, <clears throat> a layer below to kind of create a level for here for us to put our zombie heads on. And for this, we're going to be going ahead and just placing down zombie heads at slight angles, like this, and then in the corners here, steeper about 45 degree angles, and then again in the corners here. A little bit more gradual of a slant like so and then we can delete these blocks underneath here <clears throat> and then looking at it from above we should have something that looks like this here for the horizontal stabilizer and obviously you're going to do the same thing we did over here on the right side over to the left side and with the horizontal stabilizers all done we're going to go now move into the wings now for the wings we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this space right here we're going to place down two green carpets followed by a row of three green carpets one green carpet followed by a second and then a dark oak wood trap door. We're going to go ahead and place down another two dark oak wood trap doors, followed by a, another two out to the side here like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood trap doors, and we're going to place down one here on top of the spruce wood top slab. This uh, dark oak wood 
uh, trapdoor. We're gonna switch out for a spruce wood tops, or spruce wood uh, trapdoor. And then we're gonna place down a spruce wood trapdoor on top of it. We then wanna go and grab our daylight detectors. We're gonna place down one and two out to the side here. And again, fix our trapdoors if they do decide to open. And again, two daylight detectors out to the side here. And again, close our trapdoors. We then wanna place down a spruce wood top slab coming off here. Make sure our trap door is closed, and then we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs, place down one, two, and three across here. One coming off the center, and then we want to go and place down a zombie head here in the corner, just like that. And once you have that done, you're going to obviously take wood on the right side over to the left side, and this is what your layer should look like from up above here. As you can see, we're starting to get a good portion of the aircraft going. But yeah, that right there is going to complete layer number five. With that, let's go and move into layer number six. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna be going ahead and placing down a dark oak wood slab on top of this light gray stained glass block, followed by a dark oak wood stair back from it, a light gray stained glass block, two green terracotta blocks, two light gray stained glass blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven light gray stained glass blocks. We then wanna place down three light gray stained glass blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, green terracotta blocks back and then two spruce wood planks here on the end. On these spruce wood planks here to both sides we're going to place down two dark oak wood buttons. Once that's done going ahead and going back up to the front here we're going to go to the side of the slab place down a trap door followed by a daylight detector and then we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood slab back. Again if your trap doors do open up make sure that you go ahead and close them. After that we're going to place down one two dark oak wood stairs followed by a dark oak wood corner stair and then another dark oak wood slab. From that, we're gonna place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks, dark oak wood stair, and then one and two dark oak wood stairs back, and a dark oak wood corner stair. After that, uh, we wanna go and then place down a light gray stained glass block, and a dark oak wood stair like this, and then one, two, and three dark oak wood stairs back. After that, we're gonna place down one, two, three dark oak wood slabs, and then a zombie head like that on the end there. And once that's all finished, uh, we're going to go to the side here of the um, gun, or the top gun right here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door there, and then dark oak wood signs here on these two corner stairs. Uh, once that's all finished, we're going to go ahead and then go to our wings here. And just on top of the engines, uh, actually something I forgot to do in the previous layer, we're just going to place down one, two, three dark oak wood trap doors on top there. And anyways, that right there is going to wrap up here what we have for layer number six. Uh, again, with the wings out of the way, everything's going to be a little bit more simpler and straightforward. So with that, that's it for layer number six. With that, let's move on to layer number seven. Moving on to our next uh, layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to the front here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of this green terracotta block here. We then want to go and go to the like, two light gray stained glass blocks here and place down two light gray stained glass blocks on top of it, followed by two green terracotta blocks back, a dark oak wood stair, dark oak wood slab, and a dark oak wood trap door. Um, going to the sides here of the cockpit, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, followed by a dark oak wood stair, dark oak wood corner stair, and then a zombie head right here at a slight angle like so. After that, uh, we're going to go and place down a barrier block after this dark oak wood trap door. If you do not have access to barrier blocks, just go ahead and use a iron bar instead. But uh, if you do have a barrier block, you're going to place down a stone button on both sides. Again, if you don't have a barrier block, just use a iron bar instead. Uh, going back here to this, we're going to place down a light gray stainless block on top of this, followed by an anvil, an air brick top slab, and then two end rods going back. And we also want to go ahead and place down a uh, light gray stainless block here to the side, and then one and two like racing us paints here in the corners like that to kind of create a circular shape here for this top turret. Anyways, after that's done, we're going to go and go back here uh, from the end rods. So we have the two end rods come off the snare brick slab. We're going to skip three spaces back and then on our fourth block, we're going to place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks, a dark oak wood button on both sides of the third dark oak or green terracotta block. And then we want to place down two spruce wood planks back followed by a spruce wood sign on the side of the first plank and then a spruce wood trap door on the side of the last plank. So just like that on the end there. And anyways, once that's all complete, that's going to finish layer seven. And with that, we're gonna move into our final layers, which are gonna basically cover the top of the aircraft, all that stuff. So uh, that's it for layer seven. Let's move into our final layers. All right guys, moving into our final layers. We have layers eight through 12 
for these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to this dark oak fence post, and we want to go ahead and build up one more additional fence post up like so. From that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a barrier block that's going to go up and over like this. We're going to delete this one right here, and then place down a zombie head coming off of it, and then a dark oak wood sign here to both sides. If you do not have access to a barrier block, I'd recommend using a dark oak wood fence gate for this situation. Um, but barrier blocks, again, are going to work the best. Anyways, we're going to take a break from that, and we're going to come back here to the cockpit. We're going to place down a green carpet over this space here, and then one and two dark oak wood buttons on top of those blocks right there. Once that's done, we're going to come back here to our section here. We're going to place down another barrier block up, or another iron bar, again, depending on whatever uh, you have access to. And again, stone buttons here on both sides if it is a barrier block. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then come back to <clears throat> the turret back here. And for the turret, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a, another brick slab. We're going to place down another brick slab on top of the anvil. And around the corners, or on the light gray stainless blocks, we're going to place down some zombie heads like so. And then on top of the gun itself, we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches spaced out as far as we can go like that. After that's all complete, moving here to the tail, uh, we're going to go ahead and start work on the tail. So for the tail here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this block here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some red concrete, and we're going to place down one and two red concrete blocks back, followed by a spruce wood plank and a second spruce wood plank like this. And just like we did before, we're going to place down a spruce wood sign on both sides of the first spruce wood plank, and then a spruce wood Trapdoor come off the second block here again both sides and then a dark oak wood button on both sides of this red concrete block Going up from this we're gonna go ahead and place down a uh, Another set of red concrete going up like this again a dark oak wood button to both ends and we're gonna go ahead and then place down a Spruce wood plank here followed by a mossy cobblestone wall um, Again going ahead and moving up one we're gonna place down a spruce wood plank going up and on the sides of these planks We're gonna place down some spruce wood signs like so and then uh, from this point we're going to go and then place down a green terracotta block and then a mossy cobblestone wall after that uh, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top here so we're going to grab a spruce wood stair place it on top here green terracotta block going forward and then a zombie head here on the end and on the very tip here, we're going to go and grab ourselves a daylight detector. We're going to place down a daylight detector on top, followed by a end rod coming off of it, and then a zombie head like so. Now from this point here, uh, we're going to go and grab our barrier blocks, and we're going to be going ahead and making this rigging here that runs basically the entire top, or all the way up to the tip there of the vertical stabilizer. Now um, in any board place that we place down barrier blocks, just go ahead and place down iron bars. So... <laughs> Again, making that pretty clear, wherever we have barrier blocks, just place down iron bars. Um, anyways, going ahead and going off this this uh, barrier block here, we're going to go, ahead and go over one, two, three, four. And so we should have a total of five barrier blocks. Actually, sorry, we're going to go back six in total. So we have six barrier blocks here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down one. Actually, we're going to be using stone buttons for this. We're going to be placing down a row of five of stone buttons across those six barrier blocks. We're then going to go ahead and go up and back with the barrier block. We're going to go ahead and do one, two, three. Uh, this is going to be a row of six again. Actually, a row of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to place down our, again, our stone buttons. All the way across the top there. And then we want to go ahead and again go up. You go ahead and do one, two, three, f four, and five, and six barrier blocks back. And then we're going to place down five uh, stone buttons here on those five blocks that we can and you should get something that looks like that for your cable again if you do not have access to barrier blocks go ahead and use iron bars going ahead and going from this space right here we're going to place another barrier block right here followed by one and two stone buttons along the side here and then one and two over here as well and with that we have the cabling here complete for the aircraft and you have basically the fuselage of the aircraft complete Last thing we're going to go ahead and cover is my propellers. Now my propellers here are pretty straightforward. If you've ever uh, built any of my Air World War II aircraft or anything like that recently, you've probably built this propeller design as well. 
Uh, one thing I also want to go ahead and cover is to go ahead and grab an item frame and also a snowball. We do have some wing mounted lights that we forgot to cover and this is going to be going ahead and go into this stair right here. We're going to place down an item frame and a snowball and again same thing over here. Item frame and a snowball and those are just some lights there on the wings. Um, anyways for our propellers here real simple we're going to go ahead and go to the red concrete block here, and we're going to place down one and two, another brick top slab to the side, followed by a birchwood top slab. We're going to go ahead and go up, but we carry that on the opposite side with a narrow brick stair, followed by a second narrow brick stair, and then a birchwood slab like that. And then dropping down here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair that goes down, followed by a stair like so. So you have the upside down stair, regular stair, and then on the bottom here, a birchwood upside down stair. And right there is going to make your propeller. You're going to go ahead and take the same design and bring it over here to this side. So again, uh, we'll just go ahead and do this real quick as it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And this will go up like so. And then again, we're going to go and drop down to this section here and do the same thing. So just like that, and you have both your propellers complete for the build. And here you have the IL-4 in a nice standard green uh, color scheme. If you are wanting to put the camouflage on the aircraft, we're going to be covering that next. Um, basically how to make it similar to this one, uh, or basically just a rough idea of how to go about doing it. But uh, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and move into the camouflage. Uh, we have the actual aircraft model all complete. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into the camouflage. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to do the entire plane and camouflage. Um, mainly the main idea behind it is just to show you guys what you guys can do. Um, and then leave it up to you guys to go ahead and put your own camouflage on. Um, I highly recommend, especially if you're having a lot of these in like a certain area, to kind of differ like different up the camo a little bit, the pattern, so it's not the same thing across for every aircraft. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward the way I went ahead and designed this aircraft, so uh, let's go and get into it. Now, uh, one of the main things to cover is it seems with a lot of the IL-4s, at least in this camouflage, the black of the, or the, the front nose of the aircraft was almost in, always entirely black. And it basically goes to about this point here in the cockpit, and we can kind of curve it down like this. Now, the main thing to make take note of is when you're actually putting your camouflage on and replacing these blocks to make sure that if you delete anything that has a, a button on it or anything like that, like those blocks we just deleted, that you go ahead and replace that button um, because you're going to lose detail uh, on that if you do leave that out, so it's very important. Uh, but we're basically making the black nose here and we're using nether brick slabs stairs and all that in combination here with black concrete to go ahead and kind of give it that black color scheme. And we're going to basically do the entire nose here. We don't really have a good substitute for the dark oak wood trap doors, so we're just going to have to kind of leave those on there like so. Um, but as you can see, we have pretty much a kind of blacked out nose here. Again, don't forget the bottom of the fuselage here. We do want to make sure that the color transitions down to the bottom of the fuselage as well. So we have the front nose there kind of done up and all that stuff. And then moving into the wings here. Now the wings, um, you just want to kind of do like a little bit of a stripe pattern. So the best way to kind of go about this is kind of doing maybe like a little bit of a splotch and diagonal um, is what I kind of do. So we can start out on the best to start right, right here for the wing. We can go in and take our black carpet and maybe swap this out here for some black carpet. And we can also replace the blocks underneath here. And I do recommend doing that because as you can see on the bottom here, it is visible from the outside. So if we are trying to put a camouflage on the build, it makes a lot more sense to have uh, our black concrete or just kind of our camouflage shown through a little bit just so that you get a little bit more kind of out of it if that makes any sense. And we'll just kind of swap these blocks around right here. And again, anything that we do break, make sure we do replace. So we have a little bit of a black splotch there and I'm going to leave the, uh, what will be the, basically the either rods on the aircraft. I'm not going to touch those, I'm going to leave those as is. Um, to kind of show that they're there, it adds more detail there to the wings and all that stuff. Um, but then we can go ahead and switch to putting in some tan. Now the tan here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and maybe have a run next to this splotch here. So we're going to go ahead and swap these stairs out for some sandstone stairs and we'll make this a little bit thicker. And we'll take our slabs here and we're going to be using smooth sandstone for this entire kind of tan portion as it looks the best. And then for the carpet, since we don't have any tan carpet, we can use birch wood, um, basically birch wood pressure plates on top there. Those work pretty good. And trap doors, we can simply replace with birch wood trap doors. And underneath here, 
We're just going to go ahead and make sure again we keep that color going to the bottom as well to again keep that camouflage going through the build. And we have some trap doors we can place right here. And this can be extended out just a tiny bit. And yep, that right there is pretty much the wing there. And then kind of connecting the wing up to the fuselage here. We can just kind of start a splotch here, kind of on the trailing edge here of the wing. And then kind of have it slope up, form up in the fuselage. So kind of going up like that. And then this would theoretically kind of wrap around the aircraft. And probably like go out this way so we're gonna have a kind of wrap around here and we kind of go out the leading edge here the wing um, so something like that and then we would have some more black in this section here so we may have it go the opposite direction this time to kind of show a little bit of variation so our stripes aren't all going the same way we kind of have like this more kind of splotch type appearance and also we can use wither skeleton skulls in black areas here so where we're trying to get black color in, we can go ahead and place down with your skeleton skull instead and all that. And basically something like that. So again, kind of keeping that color there. And then we can throw in some tan again. So just kind of alternating colors here. And we can have this run up into the vertical stabilizer. Just note that whatever colors you change the vertical stabilizer to, they will be visible on the other side here. So you're gonna want probably some color, the same color kind of dropping down this way and into your horizontal stabilizers just so it doesn't look that weird. Um, but yeah, you can do something like that. Again, you can replace these walls here with sandstone, sandstone walls and all that. And maybe we can have the tip up here of this maybe black and we'll switch to another brick wall and with a skeleton skull. And again, for your horizontal stabilizers here, you can just kind of start wherever you want do some splotches uh, you would replace these heads here as well um, I'm not going to do that on camera just because don't really need to kind of self-explanatory what we're doing here and then right here we'll have a little bit of a splotch as well there and you kind of get the general idea of basically camouflage it's pretty straightforward and simple um, you know just kind of go crazy if it uh, obviously not too crazy try to keep a good mix of all three colors and try not to go completely overboard with it um, and keep it a good mix and all that stuff and you should get a really nice design here and the camouflage really does help um, an aircraft it gives it that extra little bit of detail that otherwise the aircraft would be you know pretty bland um, but it really does help and I'd really highly recommend you guys put a camouflage on this aircraft I think it looks really good with it and again here's a kind of an example of a finished product here um, of the camouflage and you can see pretty straightforward some bigger splotches of tan um, see this, this other side over here has more a little bit more tan than this side So definitely try to keep it mixed up keep it varied a little bit and you know don't hesitate to have these big You know colors going for the aircraft and all that stuff and you can see it's a good mix um, You got nice greens uh, Probably a little bit more green could, could be used on this aircraft But yeah, you get you can kind of get the general idea of what we're going for and that right there is going to cover the camouflage for the IL-4 and with that that's going to complete my tutorial for the Aleutian IL-4 medium bomber Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this as I do, I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been a thing from the side of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And um, overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check my Patreon page, link is down in the description. And that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.